your girl, Dita Brett, the topic for this video. Freshman advice. Freshman, I feel like these tips are really going to help you if you're an upcoming freshman because freshman is your most important, it's one of your most important years in high school. And I had to learn that myself because I was a freshman last year, but I am a sophomore. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first tip or the first like thing is when you start high school or when you're like when you're a freshman, stay on top of your work. You do not want to play catch up because if you get behind on your work, like because in high school you can't fill a class or you got to retake it eventually. Because you have to get a certain amount of credits to pass. And you don't want to do that. Like, I remember last year, it was like at least a couple seniors in my class. And I was just like. You kind of, you kind of too big to be in this class. But then I realized, I was like, oh, they failed the class. Because, you know, me, I watched freshman advice videos too. Because I was scared to go into high school. Who was not scared to go into high school to see older people you're becoming grown like this is where you start making your blueprint start making different choices choose what path you want to take so i just think the best advice to give you that's why it's number one is to stay on top of your stuff you must have that throughout your whole school year so when schools look at you they will be like oh she on her stuff oh straight a's not that kind of stuff okay so number two freshman advice Find something you like to do. If you don't have, like, no niche or way of getting money at the moment, like, if you didn't have one in middle school, I started, like, my, you know, career and all that kind of stuff in middle school. But I decided since I was going to stay in high school, I was going to postpone it, get my grades up, all that kind of stuff, and then I was going to start back in the summer. But the best time to figure out what you want to do or start thinking about what you want to do is summer. I mean, it's high school. Try to figure out what you want to do your freshman year because if you try, if you want to be a YouTuber, if you want to do music, if you want to be a nurse, make a vision board. I'm not, well, you can't see right now, but I have a vision board on this wall, and basically, I have goals everywhere that I want to accomplish and stuff. And people I look up to, like Billie Eilish, track stars, all that kind of stuff. If y'all want to see like a room tour, I'm gonna to put that in there, so just comment down below if you want to see that. But yeah. Figure out something you want to do. Like, I know for sure I like entertaining people. I still like rapping or whatever. That's why I'm glad I, kind of glad I took a break because me taking a break made me realize that that's what I like doing and I miss it. But if I was to take a break and I didn't miss it, that's how I knew it wasn't something I was I really like doing and I was meant to do. But I missed it. So that's something I want to do. And that's a gift God gave me. So I'm going to use it. Yeah. Find something you want to do. You could do chat. You could do um, cheer. And all that kind of stuff. Like, and then when you get in high school, you want you want to do a sport or something. Like, a sport or join a club. Because it'll be easier for you to make friends. You don't want to be a loner in high school because it's going to be real hard. Because it's something called peer pressure. And something called being overwhelmed and bullied. And you're going to need some support. And you're going to need some friends throughout high school. Yeah. Okay, so. Third. Third one. Third one. This one really is one y'all need. Y'all really y'all need to listen to all of these because these are the main ones. Third one, drama. Drama, drama, drama. You gonna go through a lot of drama. Well, I'm not gonna see you go through a lot of drama. Well, that that's cap. That's cap. That's cap because. My freshman year, I've been through a lot of drama. It's a lot of he said, she said, and I like to get under my skin and get to me and get me out of character. But, well, not get me out of character. Well, I don't allow it to get me out of character, but I let it get to me. And it just, as, and the more I let it get to me, the more it got worse. So, I was, it just, drama was coming my way and I kept entertaining it. So, that's the more it got worse. So, don't entertain these girls because they don't have nothing going on for themselves and all that kind of stuff. They just want to see you down and all that kind of, and all that stuff. So, if a girl should have thought some beef with you, just let them have it because it's not worth it. That beef y'all having right now, especially if it's over a boy. That's what I messed up. That's what I was messed up at. If you beefing with somebody over a boy, drop it because it's not worth it. Y'all not going to know this boy. Y'all not going to know that boy. 10 years from now 
but if you friends with this girl and the girl decide to go mess with some boy that you used to date mess with talk to all that kind of stuff just drop it because neither one of y'all gonna know that boy 10 years from now just let him have it because high school is high school the girl probably giving the boy what he want it is what it is but at the same time you doing you you got your stuff going on and you listen to number one and two so you're not really worried about it by the way doing sports and stuff keep you distracted that's what i learned track kept me distracted from a lot of stuff even though i still got a drama that i could have avoided but track helped me with a lot anyways but yeah boys you can it's okay to have male friends but i feel like your freshman year you shouldn't really put your focus in a boy because they're gonna distract you and your main focus need to be on your schoolwork and you probably saw this in other videos but your main focus doing to be in schoolwork because you do not want to play catch up at the end of semester because all teachers aren't cool all teachers are not gonna just pass you because they just nice people and they mess with you i got it the good way because my teachers last semester last semester was cool and i passed all my classes this semester my teacher was just kind of hard on me like my um ela teacher um he was a um, participation teacher, and I don't like talking to class like that. So I had like a, I had like, a, I had like a sixty something. Like that's how bad it was. But then you know we ended up calling Corona, but I ended up passing this class with an A. So yeah, and if just you don't know how how like you know leaning your teachers are gonna be. So it's best to stay on top of your work because you don't want you don't want to be embarrassed and have your parents come up to the school just because you're not doing what you're supposed to do because you got your focus on some boy that don't even care about you for real. Half of the time he don't even care about you for real. I'm not saying all boys are like that. So before I get mad, but most of the time they don't really care about you for real. They just want to mess with you just to say they mess with you or they just want one thing. It's the truth because I experienced it. So. Yeah, ignore the drama and that kind of stuff. For me, I would avoid relationships. If you really, really, if you just saying about what I'm saying, you gonna date somebody this year. Max yourself the one. One. Just try to you know, only date one person. And when you do date that person, if you do date your freshman year, then don't put all your focus in it because it's gonna really mess you up. You're gonna feel you're gonna start flunking. All that kind of stuff. Your mind gonna just be all focused on that boy. You might not feel like it, but that's what it's gonna. Be. That's how it's gonna be. Cause that's how I was. Okay, so the fourth one is okay. So the fourth one is getting to school on time. I cannot lie to you. I, I would not lie to you. Not. I like it was only been like one time out of the week I come to school on time, and. I've never, I never can like last semester, this semester, I never got in school on time and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, it didn't really affect me because I still pass my classes. But if you listen to what I said in the last you know, like step or whatever, then you really have to worry about this because if you, you, if you don't really go to school like that, like if you were to like, oh, I just want to stay home and all that kind of stuff, or if you just want to come to school, like it really don't matter if you do what you're supposed to do. And all that kind of stuff. You can always get online and do your work and all that. Like, if you on top of your stuff, you ain't got to worry about it. Yeah, you ain't got really nothing to worry about. Like, I'm not saying that like, that's not, like, not going to class on time is a good thing. But, I mean, it is what it is. The fifth advice is tr try to create a bond, a good bond with your teachers because like i said in the like of the few other steps if you create establish a good bond with your teachers and like she is that cool chill teacher when you really need that great boost up she'll give it to you if she really right with you she'll give it to you that's what i did last year or this year i created a good bond with my teachers and they gave me that boost up or they became real cool with my mom and they gave me that like boost up like when i needed it like yeah she gonna fail you because you've been disrespectful and you've been like don't be that kid in class who be trying to be looking cool and all that kind of stuff that's really important popularity doesn't matter Ooh. popularity doesn't matter popularity will never matter so if you think you're being miss popular is gonna make you through high school make you successful 
unless you're trying to be an Instagram model and that kind of stuff, then it doesn't matter. If you're trying to make go to school, popularity doesn't matter. So you could just forget about that, all that kind of stuff. I wasn't really popular last year because I really to myself. That's the best way to go, I feel like. Well, for me, but popularity didn't really excite me for real. So I really don't care much for it because I know what I want and popularity isn't it. I want stuff that's gonna make me money. You being popular don't matter. Popularity don't make you better than nobody. You being popular don't make you above nobody and give you the right to try to punk somebody out. Like that's lame. So But, yeah, popularity doesn't matter. So, I mean, yeah, just focus on your bag, really, sis. Just focus on your bag. Focus on your bag, focus on your grades, all that kind of stuff. But, all I'm going to say is, stay up, stay up on your stuff. Stay out of drama. Don't really focus on boys and all that kind of stuff. I mean, because a lot of people going to try to talk to you. Seniors, seniors going to try to talk to you. Seniors try to, seniors try to talk to me. I ain't go for it though. Cause you know what I did? I watched them freshman advice videos. I watched them and it helped me. But for you, I recommend you stay to yourself, stay up on your schoolwork, don't get behind, and just stay positive. That's really honest. Yeah, that's the end of this video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Find me Instagram. I'll be in the description below. I hope that I made you happy. I hope that I made you smile and all that stuff. Thank you for watching and we out.